back. What up? Um, I don't really have anything else to add. That intro is all I got in me today. My neighbors have kept me awake for goddamn ever. And I might as well just be making a video if I'm not doing something. So let's hit that control R. Restart for our untapped GG. I have been practicing just getting back in right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing our good old fashioned... <laughs> going to uh, random.org doing our what I used to call a daily challenge and now I'm just gonna call it a challenge you know like a random deck challenge whatever so um, let's go ahead head over there so out of the three games we can play right so the way I look at it is I go over here uh, and arcane doesn't or alchemy, whatever the fuck it is, doesn't count to me. I don't even know what this is, but I don't want to do it. Yeah, that's kind of where I've come in my life. <laughs> uh, but I will play some Brawl. I do fucking love some Brawl. So we'll play Brawl, and then if, if Brawl is selected, we'll end up having to choose Historic or Ranked. But we're always going to do... Um, I mean standard or historic, but we're always going to do brawl as its own thing after that. So one will be standard, two will be ranked. His oh, Jesus. Let me just let me just have a moment here. <sighs> Lack of sleep be gone. I wish that was how it works. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go right back over here. So, one will be standard, two will be historic, uh, three will be brawl, and then if it is three, we're going to have to figure out which one we want to do. So, it is one, so we're building a standard deck. Awesome. How many colors are we playing with? Three color standard deck? Oh shit, alright. Um, how many cards am I allowed to craft? Normally I do it out of 10, but hold on. Uh, God. Let's get my colors first. Alright, so we're playing with three colors, so let's go figure out what our colors are actually gonna be, because we're gonna have to make a new deck anyway, right? So. We're coming over here, playing a standard deck. Let me select that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, how is everyone today? This is a day. I have no idea when this is. Is this, what day is this? Sunday. <laughs> One will be white. Two will be blue, three will be black, four will be red, and five will be green. So let's go right over here. What colors are we not playing with? We're going to do this twice. So not white and not blue. So we're playing a Jun deck, baby. Yo, that'll be fucking terrible. <laughs> I don't even think I have very many good Jun cards. Uh, how many games... Are we, uh, oh wait, do we get to concede? No, we do not get to concede. Yes, it would be one, no, it would be two. That's, that's the way I like to do it, if I remember. So, no, we don't get to concede. We're playing Jund. What are the questions do I need to ask? Oh yeah, how many of these bad boys can I craft? Like, can I, am I about to have to make a whole new deck? Six, so I can craft six cards. All right. God. I don't even know where to begin. I genuinely don't. I haven't played enough standard. I've been playing historic just to see how some of the cards have really affected things. But the first thing I guess we should do is see how many cards I have four copies of. We have some murders. We have some pyres. We have some broken wings. We have some... That has white in it. Can't play that. Got plenty of land. Okay. 
multiple copies of cards are very important when you're making a random deck trying to make it better. Wait, is this in standard? What the fuck? Doom to Center is in standard? What? Huh? But how? I'm I'm confused. Confused. I'm so confused. I don't know way to look. From what I understand thus far about all of the new cards, we need enchantment removal. So I'll add two crushing canopy and two broken wings to the deck. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do here, but we're just gonna type in land and make a Jund land deck. Why not? I have no idea. Is Jun land any good in standard right now? Let's find out. <laughs> I don't I don't fucking know. Uh, not collected. Okay. We can only craft six cards though, so that would be a play set and then Well, not too much after that. Just two more cards. What is this? I don't really want to play with that card. Rotter's Firebrand? I do love Rotto. Can't block this turn. Ooh, that'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty good. Dig up is a really good card, actually. Uh, Loam speaker. Add one mana of any color. Target land you control becomes a three-three elemental creature with haste until end of turn and still land. That's not that bad as long as we're getting a lot of lands. Remember, we can only craft six cards, so whatever we craft needs to actually be useful for us. Like, we could finish a set of this guy. Um, return to its owner's hand. Reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a land card from among them onto the battlefield. Tap. Put the rest into your graveyard. You know? Hmm. I just don't. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Tax at your library for a basic land card that doesn't share a land type. Create a 1 1 green insect token, put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, where X is the number of basic lands you control. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay. We probably want Ren and 7 in a lot of decks that I own and have crafted. Cultivator Colossus? Toughness is equal to the number of lands you control enters the battlefield. You may put a land card onto the battlefield tapped. If you do, draw a card and repeat this process. That's not that bad at all, actually. Any good lands? <laughs> Maybe I'll just be crafting lands. Well, with mana, vano, mana value one or less, exile all graveyards. Exile the saga, return it to the battlefield. All consuming deals damage, put a plus one plus one counter. Okay. There's some pretty good Rakdos cards. I've just seen them being used. Uh, there are a lot more really good non rack or not just Rakdos cards, I should say. I'm about to make a Rada deck. I do kind of just Whenever it becomes tapped, another target creature you control gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of basic land types among lands you control. But I don't have trample, right? I don't know how easy it is to get trample in standard right now. Huh. Is there a Jund deck we could build? I know that there's Jund the color. Hmm. Those combat damage to a player, look at the top card of your library, you may play a land from the top of your library, cast this spell. Okay, so Jund is just in standard, the mana standard again, huh? Hmm. That's not bad either. You can only craft six cards though. Hmm. 
Okay, okay. All right, all right. Let me go ahead and just do this. Because it looks like there's some really good shit I want in these colors. We're making a Jun deck anyway, right? Uh, we're going to have to have a bunch of ramp. We're going to have to have a bunch of enchantment and creature removal. Oh, I could do haste. Whenever you attack, double target creature's power until end of turn. Okay. And then we'll grab some Radas. <laughs> a target opponent sacrifice a creature of Planeswalker they control with the highest mana value among creatures and Planeswalkers they control. Exile the top three cards of your library until your next end step. You may play those cards. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. So what I am going to do, though, is go and craft some new dual lands. The dual lands that I definitely need are red and green. And I just... Oh, are there no good dual lands in standard right now? There aren't. Okay. We'll go ahead and craft those. So those are the six cards we can craft. We're going to craft Mr. Oifo and Rockfall Veil. Vale. Finish deck. Now we're going to go back. What we're trying to do is get a bunch of lands so that we can play a bunch of really big stuff. And then whenever you attack, they'll target creatures power until end of turn. That's our main goal. So... We so far only have seven. It looks like it looks like we're gonna be okay in terms of actually getting mana out so far. So we can't craft any more cards, so that doesn't matter. Now what we're gonna look for is how to get some stuff on the battlefield that we want to attack with. Uh, whenever attacks, you may sacrifice another artifact or creature. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter. Ooh, can we make tokens, actually? This guy would be really good with tokens, because you can attack in and make people block your tokens. This would be really good with tokens. Actually. Actually, this would be pretty good with tokens. What the fuck is this? Titan of Industry. Choose two. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Target player gains five life. Create a four for a green rhino. Okay. Uh, not for that much mana. I don't care how cheap I can make it. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we definitely should be working on a werewolf deck just in general because I love werewolf decks. They're pretty fun, honestly. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. Does have trample. You can create wolves with it. Cool, cool. Does give me tokens. Which is the battlefield mill a card. If it's a land mill this way, create a treasure token. If it's a creature card mill this way, create a one, one. Okay. Nope. I don't want that. I don't want that. It's just a battlefield, create blood tokens, and yeah. <laughs> I just don't, uh, I'm not into blood tokens uh, at the moment. Target creature gets plus X, plus X to end a turn, create a 1-1 one, one green white creature token. Okay, well, is that an instant? Yeah, that's, that's chill with me. Enters the battlefield, create two wolves, awesome. So we're, we're getting some token value. Right, at the beginning of combat on your turn, wolf or werewolf you control gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Whenever an opponent casts their second spell each turn, create a, oop. Are we about to make a werewolf deck, bro? I don't need to make a werewolf deck right now. Jund werewolves, ugh. That's gonna be shapoopies. Uh, let's see, whenever one or more creatures you control deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token, you know? The treasure token gets our gets, bro. Create a red elemental creature token with trample. This creature's power and toughness are equal to the number of instant sorcery cards in your graveyard. Not the worst. We'll put Dragon Boy in. Big scores. Additional cost to cast a spell. Discard a card. Draw two cards and create 
two treasure tokens. Do love it. Love it. Oh my god, love it. Whenever one or more creatures you control dies, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token with decay. This ability triggers only once each turn, but since I'm doing tokens, it's not going to work out too well for me. It just ain't. It just ain't. Ooh, I can get some zombies though. Hell yeah. Alright, now we're probably just going to be looking at well, let's see, what do we have here? Token generation, get some lands, flying destruction, enchantment destruction, dragon boy, lands, tokens and mana, tokens and big creature, big creature, double power, big creature, help save creature. So we need another big creature at least and some damage, so... How do you spell damage? God, blessed be. I remember how to spell damage. <laughs> uh, we're looking for something that, you know, a braid is really good right now. I'll throw a braid in. We need another creature that can really get in. If it has an effect, that is also really good for us. Yeah, honestly. What does this say again? If it becomes night until end of turn, I don't know. That's been used against me a lot. It's not actually that great. Huh. Master's Rebuke would be okay. I'll add a spinning wheel kick, actually. I'll add a spinning wheel kick. Now we only have five more cards we can grab, but that's okay. I put the abrade in wouldn't be bad to have something that just did it to anything else three damage to target creature planeswalker also deals two damage to that permanent controller if you troll a modified creature i more than likely might i more than likely might any hard murder triggers that i own destroy target creature you don't control that was dealt damage this turn right that's not bad, actually. I just don't know how often I'm going to be dealing that much damage. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may exile any number of black cards from your hand. This spell costs two less to cast for each card exiled this way. Uh, murder is legal, right? In standard. <laughs> God, I love it when I just get to do dumb shit like that. So just add some murders. All right, well, our deck is fucking wonky as shit. Hold on a minute. You may play an additional land this turn. I don't really play any extra land, so I'll go down to two there. Go up to one here, right? No? Probably do want the extra one mountain, okay. We're gonna want another forest for sure, right? Because we're playing, got 25 lands. We definitely want 26 lands in a deck like this. So we'll go up another forest. Deck is completed, right? So what I'm trying to do now is figure out if I actually have creatures that I can win the game with. I can destroy a bunch of shit pretty low to the ground for the most part you know what I'm actually gonna get rid of liberation we're gonna try and find a creature that I can actually enjoy this game playing with right like a like a creature that if I left a creature on the board for long enough it becomes an actual threat to these people tap it then if there are four more creature cards in your graveyard transform it to number of creature cards in your graveyard. Oh, no, I don't have too many creature cards in my graveyard is the main problem with this deck, right? Like, it's it's got a lot of Jun things in it, but it's not a Jun deck that's just clicking by any, by any means. Uh, we could play one copy of Pax Betrayal, but that wouldn't be very good. We just need... Ay ay ay. We just need a nice creature that does something dope and can stay on the battlefield or is worth protecting. 
What the fuck is that? What? Shit, give me that. Fuck, I don't even care about keeping shit on the battlefield. That'll let me put creature cards back into my hand? Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit. Okay. We're doing standard. We made a deck. <laughs> oh my god, it's already 20 minutes. So, uh, this is gonna be a, a long bake for this deck. We're gonna see if it actually works. Genuinely, the deck has such low numbers of cards that it's not gonna be too bad. Right? Somehow we didn't get any of that card that we fucking crafted. And I'm so upset. And we got no black. Adding more black into the deck was kind of a mistake. But it's okay. Well, we got all the colors this time. And these two do the same fucking thing, so... Doesn't matter. We can play Arlen. Arlen's pretty okay until your next turn you make cast creature spells as though they had flash. Uh, she's she's alright, you know? Like in a three color deck, the best thing about Arlen is she's probably going to be flipping a lot because you can't do shit. <laughs> you, you, it's way to play fucking something, right? Like um, in a, in a full on werewolf deck where the deck is tuned, it's a lot more of a different situation. Right now we're going to let our opponent think we're playing mono black. Especially due to the fact that they're like, Jesus fucking Christ, can we hold off on the... God. Updated a lot of things in this game. Like how to break my fucking eardrums. So, pretty cool that they're actually playing this. This might be a spirits deck that I heard somebody talking about when I was at a pre-release. And they were talking about a spirits deck. I believe Saffron Olive made it back in the day. Honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell you now. So they're waiting with counter in hand. So what we want to make sure we do is we play a creature that we're going to want to get back from the graveyard when we draw that one card. Do we have four copies of this in the deck? We have three copies of this in the deck. So we'll try, we'll try our boulder. If they counter it, that's fine. Cool. Did not counter it. Probably searching for a counter. Hello? Yes, yes. Search your library. What do they got going on over here? Digging, digging, digging. Ah. You just tapped out for that? Okay. Go off, king. Oh, because it's nightbound. Okay. Uh, well, I can't. Oh, I can actually. No, I can't. You did it. You let me do the thing because you let it be nightbound for this long, my brother. Right, okay. What is this? Timeless Lotus enters the battlefield tab. Add five. Well, looks like I need to draw one of my four copies of a braid. Nope. Didn't get it. Didn't get that old a braid copies. Honestly, this is a really good shit. This is actually really good. I can double her attack. Does everybody else know this exists? Like, I know that I just thought of this, and I just put this together, but does everybody else know that this fucking combo exists? Because this is pretty lit. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I don't even like to use lit that often in a conversation, but this shit's pretty fucking lit, bro. It's litty titties, yo! Alright, what you got, man? You're gonna have to... Gonna have to board wipe or something, right? Like, that's what he's gonna have to do. So... Right, we have the spinning wheel kick. So we're gonna go ahead and get in. We're 
Right. Okay, okay. And what am I doing with this? I hope you're ready to lose. Exile tap target creature, you gain four life. That's why we didn't really want to attack with her. Why is it saying that I can activate this? Destroy target artifact enchant. Oh, I can destroy an artifact, bro. Get the fuck out of here with this shit. Tap it, bitch. Tap it. You gonna need it. Tap that shit, motherfucker. Counter target non creature spell. You had a negate in hand? Impulse in hand? My god. Well, fair enough. They are playing what I'm guessing is five colors. My judgment or as much as fine. five colors can go. Give ourselves some mana, boy. Plenty of cards have been played this turn. Day bound. Fight of the night bound. So I can create some wolves. Shit, that's all I'm gonna be doing, right? Because even Arlen on this side makes wolves. Yeah, even Arlen on this side makes wolves. Until your next turn, you may cast creature spells as though they had flash. Yep, and create two two green wolf creature tokens. Cool. I I still have to read Arlen. I I think I opened her. Uh, but I didn't actually, I haven't actually used her in any way. So the only thing he's going to want to do is probably... I won't turn to... mm -hmm. Try not to miss me. Interesting. Okay. Has the five mana. Here we go. Try and get the abrade off. Camo. Try and get the abrade off. Think the abrade is actually gonna work. But this way, if they need green, it doesn't look like they need green or anything like that. It looks like they've just been using it for the five colors. Right. So we'll go ahead and plus her. Wait for the perfect moment to strike. Maybe they'll make me draw a card and I'll actually be able to play a wolf. That'd be cool. Fuck you. Nice, nice though. Always good to see Teferi being played. Teferi is a fucking bastard though. Uh, great individual person. Wonderful person. Um, written pretty poorly sometimes, but at the same time, it's Teferi. Right? Okay. Yikes. So we kind of just need it to be Nightbound. And they can change it to Daybound by tapping. So. The deck has pretty good speed. Definitely not a mid range deck. So now that we're playing against a mid range deck, this is kind of ass. But we are not allowed to concede, so we might only be doing one video this, or one game this video. We'll have to revisit the deck and see if we can't make it a little better. I do have a lot of, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just try and destroy this, actually. In all actuality, that's all I want to do. I don't like that they can technically... <laughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me. Alright. Alright. Gives the indestructible. This is a sorcery though. So it deals X damage equal to its power. Target creature you can deal deals damage equal to its power to each of 
X target creatures and or planeswalkers. So that's not too bad. It would just be one, right? So I just have to click the one. Oh wait, hold on. Can I do it twice? Is that is that how that's supposed to work? I can choose to ferry twice. No, I can't choose to ferry twice. Okay. Sorry, sorry. We'll do it like that. Hopefully it gets countered. I would love to see a counter come out of hand right now. That's like my main fucking concern. What I'm absolutely terrified of. So, we'll get in into Teferi. We might not kill him, and I'm okay with that. We'll sit on the Wanderer. Can he exile it? can okay we no, definitely need to be able to concede block. i don't know why i have that as a rule we're just gonna concede he's just dropped another teferi like we're breaking the rules right <laughs> breaking the law breaking the law uh but i'd like to at least get another game in before this video is an hour long for a deck that is supposed to just be for fun and just to try out and see what the decks and standard are so maybe i'll take away the concede rule you know i've kind of already seen those cards being played together uh, teferi does what teferi does wandering stranger does what watering stranger has done and they've done that since 2019 so if that's the deck you're building awesome you have very many examples of how to build that deck in the world that exists Totes goats, you know. Unless I control two or more lands. That's cool. No problem there. I am slowly working my way into a werewolves deck because it's gonna be around forever. Like werewolves is just gonna be around forever. So we're gonna let them think we're playing Rakdos zombies. Definitely a Zek deck that does exist, so. But I'm not too worried about. Ooh, yes, King. Uh, my God. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Whenever another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. I remember when that was a deck that was worth having, right? They're coming with Decayed, right? No, they don't have Decayed. That's dope. So it's just a 2-2 zombie creature token. God, that's why they needed this set to rotate out when Dominaria got released. Holy bitch tits. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Could crew it. Don't know why you wouldn't crew it. Okay. Mm. Let's go ahead and do this. Two basic fours, reveal them, put them in your hand, then shuffle the library. And then we'll get a pretty big creature, right? Forest, forest. Run, forest. Mm -mm. Uh, we'll get in with one. See if we can. I'd like a two two. Yeah, okay. Well the second one's not gonna work out too well. Go heavy he lands. Hey, they're playing the deck we're playing. Oh my god. I don't know. Nice. Yeah, get in. Attack me with it. Well, you have to make this a creature real quick. Make it a creature. Hey, crew this. Crew this! Motherfucker. Oh my god. Whatever, dude. Okay, I was gonna do the same thing anyway, but you could have at least, you know...
could have made it so I didn't want to. Alright. Now we have the black. Now we murder the bitch. Have fun crewing. <laughs> we'll try and get in with a zombie. That's cool. Cool, cool. Now he can crew again. Then he'll crew. Then I'll block. Then I'll have two things that can block his thing. It'll be fine. <laughs> one creature to attack with. Oh! Tanke! Yamane kurasai, Tanke! Uh-oh. I just feel very kamagawa-y today. Kamagawa-y! Wow. So this is what it's like when I wake up. I feel really bad for my girlfriend. My brain... I'm just get, about to start saying a lot of really dumb shit. These might be some of the best zombie cards I've seen in a long time. Mmm, that's a motherfucking pop pop, bitch. Play the rock fall veil. Play Mr. Orfro. Uh, if you hear any strange noises, it is my neighbors upstairs. They are absolute trash garbage, and they'll just make a shit ton of noise this entire time so if I lose a zombie that's fine not too worried about it but I don't only really lose one so I love this guy he's honestly not that bad of a commander he'd be a really good just like um almost no ability trigger commander like a bear deck he'd be really good in the bear deck uh all you'd really want to do is be able to copy his ability which you can do in red pretty easily so there is no extra plan here friend need to do that because I can just spinning wheel kick next turn right like like he's gonna have to get rid of this one if not a bunch of cards and that's gonna cost mana that I'm sure he's not really willing to pay yeah you gotta choose one and then memory of Toshiro Pay one life, add one black. Ooh, that's pretty good, honestly. Ooh, hell yeah. I'm about to murder all this shit. This is dope. Swing in, motherfucker. Swing in. Swing in, bitch. Come in, a swing in. Huh? Why does he get the lakeside, though? Why don't I ever get to be lakeside, bro? One, two, three, four. Okay. Fucking love this shit. Oh, I gotta pay eight for that. So I'd have one, two, three, four, five. I can only pay five. Okay, hold up, hold up. That's right. I can only kill two then, can I? Hold on. I'm doing the math. I'm thinking about it. One, two, one, two. All right. Kill that bitch. Oh, select my boy. Kill that bitch. Kill probably that bitch. I submitted to. Deals damage to power to equal to X target creatures and or planeswalkers. Bruh.
Why are you not letting me do it? What the fuck? Oh my god. Magic, please. Good god. Took forever. Right on. Just let me hit you. Just let me hit you with the 14-14. It'll be alright. You can gain life back, right? Like you, you, you can gain life back. You have white in the deck. Just let me hit you with the 14-7. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's just 14-7. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need another spinning wheel kick in my life. So I have to pay four to deal damage to two. No, because I deal damage to two and then I... Okay, I'm confused. I don't know how spinning wheel kick works. This deck is very simple. You are welcome to build it. And I appreciate you watching this video. I hope the rest of your day is fucking crunchy.